Hey, you two, it's your boy, Domination. Only place, all the 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 place. Oh, who's gonna get it? 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 Oh, gonna get it? Oh, who's gonna get it? It's right back in the base. Chocolate the deuces, how we do. Takes a baby. Why not Douglas back? You know what it is, know what it is, know what it is, know what it is, know what it is. Real man rise up, fake man rise down. Real women rise up, fake fake women rise down. Brought to where I preach and preach preach on. And today's topic we're gonna talk about is I I am I'm, I'm 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 sharing this video with y'all because I want to talk about the black men's image. Our image is being being discorded and discorded out out of here because. I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. Our image is nothing to be looking at as being, is being being looking enough. I think that is always show. And it, 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 what thing? I'm gonna tell you something else. What bothers me a lot when I hear people say, especially not just my women, but everybody else saying that black men are incarcerated, black men are no good, black men in jail, black men are not taking care of their kids, and 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 then some of that can be be true. But what what gets me when they say black men are more 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 in prison than in college, or are they in the download mythology, the logical be it, it bothers me when I hear that. As a black man, even though I got mis ethnicity in me, but Native American and Puerto Rican, but I am a brother also. I have to address this about our image, cause I gotta show you this video, man. What it may be saying is not true. I don't know what this brother name, who is whoever this brother out there, he was did a documentary about none of those things that people been saying about black men is not true. That everybody gets you to believe, cause all it is is just a a a, a, a certain a certain uh, publicity stunt stunt meant to sell an image betray an image what they've been like to see and bring us a negative light and not in the positive light if you know if, if you don't know what i'm talking about watch this video and you're gonna see what i mean and she will show what the true image of is are and i'm gonna show the sisters and everybody else and whites uh white brothers and sisters that everything they've been bought and and they've been tell to believe is based on a lie that's every man in general done things like that but there are brothers out there who do handle their business who do become husbands who do take care of their kids they are out there but it's not to be in the credit but been shown by for for some reason you think having a black president is good enough but it's not well good enough but i'm gonna show you this man and this is the image that we betray this the see in the positive way and not only betray in a negative way but here's the image I got to show y'all because they'll tell you about it. You know, here's the video right here and what they think about black men or, or what they already should know that they should not know and show who the real of us and what's not real about us. Here's, here's the image right here and they'll explain in the video. Here's the video. Brothers and sisters. In research of this film, there have been some disturbing assertions, some misconceptions, some half-truths, some outright lies. So we felt the need to set the record straight. Some of you have said more black men, 18 to 24, are in jail than are in college. Some of you have said one out of two black men does not graduate high school. Some of you have said one out of three black men is incarcerated total black men. Some of you have said most black women dying of AIDS contracted it from down low black men. 50% of black women have died from AIDS from IV drug use or sex with an IV drug user. The time has come for you to question everything you know about black men. You have been duped. You have been took, hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, hustled, misinformed, misled, had the wool pulled over your eyes. So the next time you hear a statistic, do us a favor, check the source, investigate, validate, before you reiterate, it just might be another lie about black 
Man. There's lies, there's damn lies, and then there's statistics. Black men are the most analyzed, probed, prodded, understudied, overstudied group ever. Whenever data comes out about us, it's been cut, and they are going to skew it to the negative of us. In his upcoming film, What Black Men Think, Jenks Morton re-crunches the numbers and says he hopes that they'll add up to a change in what you think about black men. We take the minority in our group and then tend to define the entire group by that minority. Right. The DL, um, uh, abuse or cheating or the hypersexualization of a black man. His message takes to task some of those commonly held assumptions about black men that we've all heard so many times before. Yeah, there are more black men in jail than in college. When you look at the actual data from the year that they came out, it's 2002, there were 805,000, I believe, that were in college versus 757,000 that were in jail. Now, of course, the trend over years, that's bad. But the actual, you know, storyline that they come up is, wow, there's so many black men in jail and too few that are in college. It was not the truth. That study was flawed. The, the sample group was flawed. The data was flawed. To which the Justice Policy Institute, then President Vincent Giraldi, admitted, quote, there are more college-age African-American men in college than incarcerated. College age is roughly 18 to 24, but the study researched incarcerated men ages 18 to 55 plus. Thus, because it's a larger sample group, the number of men in jail is higher than of men in college. End quote. Myth. Down low black men are the explanation for the high incidence of black women contracting HIV. There would be those that would say that this down low phenomenon um, is still a legitimate issue. Are you saying that it's not, or are you saying that it's over-exaggerated? I haven't seen a statistic anywhere about this whole DL thing. I have not seen one. Here's what you don't hear. The, the MSMW, that's a man who has sex with men and women. They practice more safe sex, they're more educated, and practice less riskier behaviors as it relates to um, drug use. Harpo Productions, two years ago, decides to put out this story about JLK. That story still perpetuates until this day. Bill Goods tries to drop a movie. It is not the truth of how this disease is being transmitted. Jenks says that we have to get straight on the stats about black males, because what we believe about the numbers informs what we believe about ourselves. I know it has led to our division. We are no longer, we are the highly dis, most highly disjoined race of all. Men have internalized the message, women have internalized the message, and we look at each other very, very suspicious. He believes we should be turning our suspicious glances in another direction. So who are the real culprits uh, in this miseducation, spread of this misinformation in our community that's got us to accept these myths? The number one suspect the media itself there is some leadership there is some entities inside the black community community that should be the gatekeepers to this the jacksons the dysons the the, the urban league these organizations are not taking that responsibility right now I, five minutes on the internet at the cdc or the bureau of justice statistics anywhere this information is there why aren't our leadership and our, uh, you know, our gatekeepers screaming as loudly about this? That you can no longer continue to put this misinformation, myths, and stereotypes about us out there. So why do you want people to go to this movie, and what do you want people to get out of it? It's a reclamation of, of who we are, what is defined as a black man from everyone else's eyes, and even our own, is a monolith, and it's not true, and an exploitation of our individual lowest common denominators assembled into this one entity and he does not exist thank you uh, 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 Jake thank you to show what's going on if y'all don't see the uh, documentary go see it man because you know 
It did bother me as a brother. I am. It bothered me a lot. I never forget. I was with to uh, Walmart, and there was a sister was asking me, and and not only that, I with my 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 brother and my and my mother, and we was the only ones that ain't got no kids. The rest of our family got children, but only me and my brother didn't have no children. We the, I'm t- I'm 25 at the time. He's 24. Now I'm 26. He's 25. I mean, I mean, I I was 25 to the time he was 24. Now I'm 20, uh, 20, uh, 20, uh, uh, I was 26 right now. I'm 26 right now. He's 25 right now. But it, it's sad at that time, man. I never forget this sister reaction, cause they, you know, you got a lot of sisters, not a lot, but 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 even white people believe in the statistics. And where do they get these damn numbers from? You see, they said there's more black men that uh, 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 um, commit to a, to a college more more than in prison. But see, they, they ain't going to talk about that. I wonder why Oprah ain't talking about this. I wonder why none of these guys ain't talking about that. The BET don't talk about this. Nobody ain't talks about this. See, but it made me angry, you know, because they, it's like they, they want to be bet- be betrayed upon that stuff. They want to see us going to prison. We want to see ourselves to be in that way. But but but, but you're black. You less than then. You less ahead than. I don't find that stuff accepting. But but yet white guys, they can motivate, can be anything they want. But it comes to black men, he's nothing. <laughs> wow, that's that's funny. That's funny. I think some sisters got to look at themselves. Because before they they say things, because I know it ain't all w- women think like that. Because I know they ain't bought this statistic. Believe, just I don't believe it. Just that they trying to say black women got more ST, STDs than any other race of women. Now that's a lie. It might be some sisters affected by that. And then I, what about white women? What about Latino women? What about Asian women? I know there's some women out there in other color. I, I remember a couple of years ago they even said China there was some AIDS go, AIDS re- redemic going on over there. But see, nobody wants to talk about that. It, it shows me a lot. You can't believe everything has been said on TV. People watch. That's the problem. People watch too many damn idiot television box, and now they TV uh down 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 monology play antennas. They antenna talking heads out of the out of side of their neck, and they believe in that stuff. I never been in jail. I ain't never had no kids, but yet there are a lot of women actually believe it. Why is it that that you know, and there, there, there are brothers who do got cars, not that many. But what's so sad about it, you don't see brothers fixing cars, except my, my stepbrother. He's the only one fixed cars. I'm going to start fixing cars when I get a car and then have a family. But it's sad at the same time. A lot of people still believe in this perpetuate, and I'm sick of it. The reason why I'm showing this is because it proves not all of us like that. Some of us like that, but not all of us. Because I want to know what kind of black men they're talking about. They must be talking about the niggas. That's who they're talking about. The brothers who, 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 who per- perpetrators, perpetrators, perpetrators. That's the brothers that they're talking about. I'm the one and 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 re self re and fill stay motiv- motivated. I am that brother that every, every real woman don't want. But that's all right. There's a lot of women out there who do want that. But it bothers me. It bothers me from my heart because you will never see a positive image of black men. You ain't going to see it. And you damn sure ain't going to see no positive black woman. You ain't going to see it. I'm sorry. It's always some a reading period of being negative and try to lump a, another group of smalls re on the group and lump into the same of people of the group. And we didn't quit saying to ourselves we, we the minority, we the majority like everybody else. I found it funny. I really do. But tell me what you think of this video, man. I just think that we need to start protecting our image. We really do as black men. Just like sisters got to protect their image. It's how they've been seen out there because otherwise they're going to keep attacking black women because they hate black men just as much as they hate black women. Because sisters, they can get y'all too just as much as y'all men do. Come on. Y'all know by my now what it is. I mean, it's funny, but but it's like that every other race. Every other race have this um, re re obstacle, you know, hidden hidden certain hidden a certain hand agenda to every other race. Even even uh, even even other race of 
women, other race of men, but even black men in particular, what else is good, what could be? But I hope it will, it will, it will overcome back behind that and things will be better for every of us. We can show ourselves to a, for a better way, better future, and better life, better uh, positive life for ourselves instead of, instead of the negatorily out, out of the light. But but I, all I can say to this, man, keep doing what you're doing, people, and God bless y'all. And give me your comment. Give me your video response. Tell me what you think of this video, all right? All right. And watch the documentary about this brother. This brother is speaking out. And I'm glad there's brothers do need to call out this this certain lies that's going on about black men. And it's crazy. Because uh, cause if it is, they, 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 they ain't one of us, I tell you that much. Because they, they don't represent what truly what it are. That's that's not who we are in the society that they claim that we are. There are brothers like that who are not sitting my brother mind. They sit in my inventory in, 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 envy, envy me. They envy. They envy. They enemies to me. They make it more harder for every other brother and sister out there, especially brothers. But they need to show what the real black man, what who we really are, and what we really stand for in this world. Like everybody else. We people too, just like everybody else. We've been hurt. We've been knocked down a couple of ounces, but we get back up. We hurt like everybody else. And that's some more I can say than more, and I can't even say any any other more, all right? All right. But but then again, when, I, when that sister saw us, she couldn't believe we ain't had no kids. She expected we, we had children. And and there are a lot of sisters think like that. They, they do, and it's sad because they bought this lie. But they never look at themselves. They're the ones that chose these kind of guys and make it in their lives. And and to me, it bothers me. This is why I will never want children, any other group or, or race of women, because I know that it, they don't fit my description. What what I really am, I'm fit. I fit description. What makes me what what truly what a man is about and what a man should not be to be like that. And that's all I can say about that. So God bless. Keep doing what you're doing. All right. All right, and it's your boy, Domination. This is back at the basic chunk of the deuces. How we do it, Texas, baby. Till next time, all right? All right, peace, and I'm out.